as promised video three as you can see it's it's put together these right here are the positive and negative terminals you know positive negative go from here to the positive it will be wired in series from each head you each one of these that produces the hydrogen it'll go through here into this one out of this one through here out of this one into this one and then out the top as you see they're all teed together and in my previous video I showed you that uh, when I get them glued together they'd be in line as long as I marked them and they are in line as I marked them and they're not one leaning out you know and notice none of them have the positive negative on the head on the screw cap that's because we don't want the gas building up in here with the um, uh, straps like this cell has that would normally be connected to the head well what that causes is the threads in here they start to melt because you can't get a good hole drilled in here for these little rubbers to fit in there nice and good and they still get hot and they melt the side of this cap because you got the cables on there then they melt the threads where you can't hardly get this off without using a pipe wrench so I'd rather not put them up there I put them uh, here's the water line I put them below the water line the bolts inside the water stay cooler this way and when you touch a cable if you have to touch cable it's not it, it don't burn your fingers plus they're cooler and it runs cooler that way but the plates that are going in here uh, in each one it'll be thicker than this brick because they'll be 30 this is a brute force the 30 will be set at positive neutral negative neutral positive neutral negative neutral positive on down to I have 30 plates in each one of them and I want the plates sitting down here somewhere and then maybe strapped up here so I want to keep the water level way above the cells that and I don't want no gases that that are up here you know, getting hot on any straps that are connected to the top because if, if by chance one of these connections get hot red hot boom you know you have an instant explosion okay here's for my other truck 130 amp CCPWM designed by Zero Fossil Fuel which this particular one was made by Rick Lawrence at God's Fuel you can find him on eBay I wanted uh, kind of a special unique order and this one is the one I want to use with this setup along I have to have my two dual alternators 250 amps that they put out each at high idle or high speed and a hundred just a little over a hundred amps at idle each so this is what I ordered from Rick Lawrence I wanted 260 amps so if I have this turning out 180 amps I'm not going to overheat it because it's rated at 260 amps. As you can see, let me get the camera right on, 260 amps. And it's Zero Fossil Fuels version 2. So, as you can see it, there it is. I'll be hooking this back up for the map mop sensor. I did have this one hooked up. It's got the 
EFI built into the case. You know, some people call them iffy it's for the oxygen. And to set my amps, I will be using this 200 amp DC gauge. And I just may leave it in. Well, there you have it, as promised. Progress so far. Thank you for viewing and wait for my fourth video.